Hmm. It is, what is today, Sunday? Hmm? Did you get some snow? It is October 25th as you can see I think it's 25th and it's a Sunday it is snowing guys and um, I'm down here at the shop I'm gonna grab or charge my GoPro battery Emily's down here editing video and it's just nice you guys to see some snow and I think we will be going out um, later at around 4 o'clock once this stop we're supposed to get like two to four inches so it's coming down pretty good Morning. Hello. Editing. Down now. I know. Yeah, I think we're gonna go out like around four, <laughs> okay. three or four. So okay. once Let it, it stops. Snow for a little bit. Yep. Yeah, I was gonna come in this morning. I just got out of the shower when you text him, and then Brad's like, "I've moved snow before. You might want to sleep because you guys will have to go out later." <laughs> I'm like, okay, dude, whatever. Yeah, because we'll be out at three, four. We'll be out for a while. Yeah, if it keeps coming down like this till four, well, we're gonna have. Okay. As you can see, it's fluffy, wet. As you can see, I don't have nothing down here anymore. All of it's up there at the other shop. And so, we'll be ready. And um, we are gonna get all of our, well, we're gonna get those townhomes and um, done and I mean we're doing it for them this time but yeah we're not we're not doing anymore unless they sign the contract with us uh, I'm gonna look into getting bulk salt um, and getting a shipping container so we can hold the bulk salt in there and then um, after the snow event you guys this coming week uh, supposed to warm up again so we might be going out and doing our fall cleanups and maybe doing a little landscaping um, until it gets cold again and um, the only landscaping we can do probably is like edging and stuff um, nothing major you know adding rocks and stuff stuff like that but I don't the retaining wall and stuff like that we I think we're done we're shut down um, and so Excited, you guys. I'm excited. First time being in the snow, mm -hmm. right? How you liking it? So this is his first time. I think he's loving the snow. Aren't you loving the cold and the snow, bud? Mm hmm. Yeah. So 
you guys, I've, we've got about a few more hours until we go out and remove some snow. It's about noon right now, and we got about two, maybe an inch and a half fluffy stuff, as you can see. Look, it's just fluff, 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 fluff. So, yeah. All right, guys, so I brought out my Sony camera, and the audio is probably better. Um, the reason why I brought it out is because it does better at night while we're plowing snow and stuff and this is what I normally record with um, when we go out snow plowing so I made sure I brought it back out um, I had to get a new road mic because the other one you guys the side of it always gets damaged I don't know I don't know if you guys have that same problem as I do I go through road mics like nothing you guys all right guys so um the snow the snow is just wet temps like 26 degrees but it's wet um, the ground is still warm and so if it was colder we would have had probably six inches by now um, but um, so far like I said it's probably around two inches three inches and I'm right now I am gonna go drive and look at our look at all of our accounts and that's what I do you guys that's what I do um, when it's snowing I can't sleep I can't uh, I just I get too excited I get nervous you know so um, I am nervous because we got them three townhomes which um, it's like it's since it's been three years it's been three years since I've done them townhomes and so um, it's a refresher I guess for me or I need a, we need a refresher for the team and um, yeah yeah we're gonna hit them townhomes first since uh, they're we're gonna open those up before we hit uh, we open up our industrial properties and um, the reason for that is that uh, industrial doesn't have to be open until like in the morning you know like early in the morning before everybody comes to work oh yeah we're gonna need to come up here and push our uh, our industrials here let's uh i'm gonna turn around and we're gonna go look at our industrials or not industrial our townhomes so we haven't heard from our other townhome that we normally take care of you know which is uh just fine we're not I'm not too excited or anxious about getting it you know they're just I, I'm we're getting our company's getting to the point where you guys if we're not if people aren't willing to work with us um, and build a relationship with us we're not in it for the short term you guys to do stuff for people you know I don't want to just have I really as a company don't want that one time I'll take your one time transaction with you but um, you're not gonna be the first one we're gonna jump on to do service for if you're not our regular client because we've gotten to the point to to the point in our business where we built we built the business model of, with clients that are good to us that are uh, you know that pay on that pay on time and that just respect our work respect our work and what we do you know and so we're just we're just to that point you guys just um, we don't have to have to just bow down to every client and stuff like that when we started the business man I took on everything and anything it's not that we're it's not that I'm not grateful to have those clients in the beginning but when you when you start growing your business you eventually have to just let go of those clients that you dread working for you know just you do it's not healthy for your business it's not healthy for you or your business you know and then you become stressed and then you be, and pretty soon your business and your, everything gets affected and not to say that business doesn't have its problems and issues there there will be 
but there are certain things you don't have to deal with and put up with and so uh, you know that's that's where we're our business models starting to shift to so you know you don't have to work for everybody just, just get those people that are willing to work with you and communicate with you and respect your values and respect your quality of work and respect you know your your team and so you just just have to find those people man it is slippery I need some weights on this back of the truck here as well I really do so, all right guys we're gonna head we did this three years ago man that was crazy we got in there doing snow removal and I remember I bought our first I want to say the s5 did I buy the S5? I think it was the S5 95, you guys, or S5 70. I bought it was, and I bought the Snow Wolf and stuff. Uh, yeah, the Snow Wolf, not the Quattropal, but we had a Snow Wolf attachment before the Quattropal. And uh, I invested so much money into this property, and then the next year we didn't get it because I was just stupid. I didn't sign a contract, or I didn't know any better. I didn't sign like a like a monthly contract which would have helped the cash you know knowing that we were gonna get money I was just risking it and hoping it would snow and so here it is right here guys this is the town home so I know a lot of you guys probably remember we we mowed this these properties in these town homes three four years ago and I hope we do get it back These townhomes, you know, they can't be letting go of contractors and trying to get bids every year because eventually these con us contractors will eventually not put any bids or don't want to work with these townhomes. You know, we're all in it for the long haul. Right there, you guys. I'm not sure how many units are in here. It's quite a bit. In here. So that's one we'll be taking care of here and once the team comes in. Here's our other one. We're just doing this today and hopefully talk to the manager and talk to everybody that runs it that uh, we get to keep it we get to do everything do a full service right here's another one so we'll be taking care of these uh, i think the snow wolf would do good here and some shovels or the quattro plow you know. and um, when we need the, to use the snow blower on the T595, I'll bring it up. So that's that's the two, and then there's another one. So. Alright guys, it is time. So Yeah, front of the garage. Stop, type of stop, get a bang. I didn't even grab anything either. Oh, damn it. What? I oh, said I didn't even get a bang, drink. dude. You didn't get a bang? I just stop and get mittens from Nikki's and then, you know, forget them there. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put one in one truck. Yeah, me get one. Yeah. And then once we get done with that, we're gonna go right down to the next town home, right okay. next to it. Okay. Sounds good. All right, guys. So.
somebody's shoveling. Michael's pulling up the snow with the snow wolf. Michael comes in and back drags everything. So. Yeah, just rake this down first yeah. so you don't have to do it twice, like yeah, go over it twice. twice. Yeah. So get the roof all, yeah. all around the property. All around yeah. All. Yeah. And then get the back doors too. Real damn long. It's gonna extend pretty far. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get uh see how it's already starting to do icicles? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get as far as you can. Yeah, get uh, as far as we can up there and just okay. start raking it down. All right, guys, so this is the contract um, location. Is the back door on the like, actual back of the building, right? Yeah, there's two of them. I think there's two of them. So the team is getting this. Uh, this account we just picked up this year. Um, right here. <laughs> That's yours over there. So. Um, I know it's two inch. Um, we actually picked this one up this year. We mow the lawn, and uh, the gang's gonna get this, finish this up, um, make it look nice. I'm gonna go help Michael. All done there, Michael? Done? Yeah, head back to the shop. Everything's all melted. <laughs> 